the founder of a company called Yum Wolf, which sounds like it would be delicious dog food. Jaron, welcome to the show. You know, thanks for having me. And we like to think that dogs do find it very tasty. It's a non-GMO dog food. What does that even mean? Yeah, we're very we're very proud about what we've created in terms of just an elevated dog food to help dogs live longer. And that's really what it's all about. And so all of our recipes are non-GMO to start, meaning they have no p- pesticides, especially glyphosates, which are linked to cancer in both dogs and humans. And uh, another thing that's been really important, and I think a lot of our customers connect with when uh, they're buying from Yum Wolf, is the fact that we don't use seed oils. So seed oils tend to be very high in omega-6, which is inflammatory, um, meaning they actually provoke the body to create inflammatory molecules. And so instead of that, we use what I like to call and just wrote about in my book, the canine Coke Omega effect, we, we call them Coke Omega super fats. And there's really cool new research showing how if you combine coconut oil with omega-3s, especially fish oil, uh, they have these really amazing benefits for reducing inflammation and ultimately creating microbiome diversity, which is associated with longevity. This is the way we talk about humans. I don't think I've heard anybody, and all of the exposure I've had to dog food and dog commercials, I don't think I've heard anybody talk about dog health this way. You know, I I really haven't either until we came along, and it's something I'm very passionate about. Um, it all really started when I figured out that all of my skin issues that I had had starting in my late teens, I'm 37 now, uh, all of those skin issues that I was seeing dermatologists for for more than a decade turned out to be food allergies. Not a single doctor ever recommended to me, like, hey, maybe you should go, like, do a food allergy test. And uh, it turns out, like, if I don't eat nuts, seeds, eggs, my skin issues clear up entirely, and I'm, like, perfectly normal. So that's part of what really got me onto this journey and really created a passion in me. And, you know, I, I looked at the pet food space. I mean, we just look at the aisles of Petco. We see all these bags of inflammatory dry kibble, and uh, I thought we could do something better. One thing I talk about in the book in particular is that there's no such thing as a non-inflammatory dry kibble because even though they do tend to use these really bad seed oils, which are inflammatory to begin with, no matter what they use, they cook it in a way that oxidizes all the fats and makes it inflammatory as well. So, like, if you're feeding your dog, anyone who's listening, feeding your dog dry kibble and they have, like, major skin allergies or digestive issues, even obesity, like, it's definitely worth looking at new options besides that. So then we're talking to Jaron Lucas. He's the founder of a company called Yum Wolf, and it's a non-GMO dog food brand. So do I buy this online? Is it in stores? And what is it like? Is it a moist food or what is it? Yeah, it's uh, available on our website, yumwolf.com. It's like yumwolf.com. And uh, you know, it's like you said, it's it doesn't look or feel like any other dog food out there. If anything, I would say it's more of like a soft and chewy power bar or something like that. So it's got this really cool soft and chewy texture. Um, we air dry it. So it's a very high quality way of cooking the food at low temperatures to maintain all the nutrients. And kind of like talking about what I was uh, saying before, we it doesn't oxidize the fats. So It makes the food anti-inflammatory, and I think that's a big reason why our soft and chewy food, perfect kibble, despite the name, not a dry kibble. And I think that our air-dried food has really been able to help a lot of dogs, uh, you know, reduce their skin allergies, digestive issues, all sorts of health issues. You have no idea. Like, I talked to so many pet parents whose dogs were on all sorts of allergy medication, like Apoquil. And just by switching from dry kibble to our food, uh, they see a complete reduction in symptoms. Sometimes they're able to get their dogs off of medication completely. So Mm. very passionate about what we're doing with our non-GMO food. Yeah, I got just a half a minute left. Do you have like a chicken one, a fish one, a beef one? Or is it uh, some dogs' foods are sold that way? Do we have different flavors? 
Yeah, we have all sorts of flavors, chicken and beef. Uh, we also have, uh, it's called Perfect Dog Food Mix. It's like a Betty Crocker mix for dogs where you can combine 10 different ground meats into the mix. Easy and cheap way to make fresh food. So uh, we have lots of options out, and we're actually about to launch a bunch a bunch of new recipes. So, uh, yeah, definitely sign up for our email list at yumwolf.com, and we have uh, many, many cool things coming. Really interesting, Jaron. Uh, nice to talk to you today. Good luck to you. Good luck to all the dogs out there. Yeah, thanks so much for sharing our brand with your audience, John, and uh, really love what you do.